Good afternoon, good evening, or good morning. Today we're looking at the Accurite Atlas Direct to Wi-Fi HD screen. As you can see, the part number is 06099M. And what comes in the box, you get your power cube, you get a little, I don't know what that is. Tells you about it, love it, hate it, need it, help, whatever. You get a little owner's manual and of course you get the screen and hopefully this screen will do what I want it to do if you all see my previous video on the, on the Accurite HD screens you know I was less than enthused about how it handled rainfall which was this display right here I love the actual layout on that screen and the color and the brightness and all that but it just doesn't do rainfall you, you heard me on two previous videos is absolutely complain about that uh, it just it still blows my mind that they actually thought that was a good idea to have a rain gauge that had a rolling 48 hour period on it that actually legitly looked like it was counting backwards while it was still raining anyways i think they fixed that on this one it'll reset to zero at midnight and it'll start tracking the next day's rain so that's what i'm hoping on that one on the new one okay so let's get this thing plugged in and see what it does Okay, here we go. Welcome to Atlas. This one actually has a battery backup, so if you lose power, it'll continue to record your information. Uh, we don't need to see how to install batteries. I think we can do that. Of course, that's actually showing you how to do it on the actual weather station, which I already have that. I'm actually quite pleased with the outside weather unit, you know, the Atlas weather station. I need to do a review on the proper review on that because that actually is pretty good. I was just so disturbed over the fact the screen that came with it was horrible and I didn't give it a good review, but we'll do that soon. Can we skip? Hello? Is this not a touch screen? No, it's not. You gotta do that. It's not touch screen. So I don't think so. Let me do the buttons down here. Okay. Alright, let's see what time is it. It's 12. Oh, wow. It's 12.39. I keep wanting to push the screen. How do you do up and down? Okay, yeah. Alright, well, I'll settle this up. I'll come back. It's going to take me a minute to get there. <laughs> and here we go. Setup is fairly simple. I just have to remember it's not a touch screen. you got to use these buttons down here in order to set everything. But there we go. It already connected up with the outside unit. It's 84 degrees, 48% humidity. That's easy to read display. Not quite as colorful as my other one, but I'm going to like how the rainfall works. Because this, like I said, it's going to count up on the day. It'll reset. It'll keep adding up for the week and then for the year. Which is what I originally wanted. Indoor, it says 80 degrees. I'm not sure about that. i give it a minute to... Probably for me handling it. I don't know where the sensor is on it, so it's probably for my hands warming it up. But so far it looks pretty good. It's pretty crisp. I can see it from the... Oops. I stepped on the 4 cat. Oh, I step on you, you goofy thing. Yeah, you're trying to help, aren't you? You're trying to help me do the video. I stepped on your little tail. Poor cat. Okay, so looks like everything looks pretty good to me. I'll give you a nice good close-up on it so you can see you're getting here. Now, I like the fact that on this one it's going to give you the dew point and the heat index at the same time. The other display would either show heat index when the temperature is above 80 or 82 or something like that and then it would display dew point between like 32 and 80 and then it would show wind chill or something. Not sure how this one does on that one, but I like the fact that it looks like it's pretty standard. It's going to show dew point and, and the heat index. It probably switches the wind chill if it gets cold. I'm not sure where that is. I know it does it. Uh, overall, it looks pretty nice to me. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll do some more videos.
I'll come back and do another review on this once it's all set up and I can see if the rainfall is working good and, and do all that and maybe give you a good review of the uh, outside unit. I, I like the way you can open that outside unit up. The Atlas has a little, little hood you open up and you can get in there and clean the rain gauge real good and all that kind of stuff. And it has that little knob on it where you can just take it off the post that it's on and bring it inside and work on it. Those two features on it by itself is great for the Atlas. If you want to get a good weather station, I still would recommend the Atlas. Just don't get the HD display if you're an avid person that likes rainfall information. Because that way they did it on it didn't make any sense. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you on the next one. And Pumpkin will keep his tail out of my way.